Welcome to a video from the digitalizer.com. In this video we're going to look at the new build of Windows 10 for Windows Insiders on the fast read. This is build 19645 and is once again a manganese release which means I think there's no new features in this build. There are some good fixes which we'll have a look at but there are no new features. I think Microsoft are very much in this pattern of getting the issues fixed with this release and I suspect this may then become the 20H2 release and then we'll start seeing new features in the summer or later this summer uh, when we get new builds. So on my virtual machine here you can see I've got the build installed and ready to go. In the blog post I do mention that your phone um, application which is the con application for controlling your uh, from sending messages with your Android phone uh, now has the audio controls built into to everybody. I, on a previous video I've shown how you can use your phone to control your your phone and to play music back uh, or control music and audio playback from your phone and uh, now that's available to everybody. Okay so what's changed in this build? Well they've changed the uh, servicing model for the Linux subsystem um, for Windows. Now I haven't got it installed on this machine, I've got it installed on my uh, Surface Go, original Surface Go that's, uh, that I do these videos on sometimes and what they've done, they've, they've they've removed the Linux kernel from the Windows image and instead it's going to be uh, installed via Windows, or by this is Microsoft update, via Windows update I think um, so you get that up, update coming down uh, through Windows update and not part of um, the actual image so that if Microsoft wants to surface it they can do and um, did not rely on the but you know twice a year windows update uh, win windows build to be released you know windows feature to be released so i think that's a that's a good idea um it just makes things um easy for microsoft to to put f fixes and new features they can just stick it to windows update and rather than wait till the next update of windows 10 comes out there's something else that they've done is they've supported nested virtualization and amd processors so which means that um you can run uh, Hyper-V which can run machines that run uh, that contain virtual images if you're on an AMD processor so it means that you could have a virtual machine that hosts virtual machines and so on so that's been the thing for Intel for a while and now that's enabled on AMD there's a few caveats on which processor you use but if you've got an AMD processor you can, uh, you'll be able to do that right so the rest of the things are fixed so they fixed um, EMMC storage bug checks. So when you were resuming from Hibernate, uh, if you were hibernating your machine, you know, do through, through here or through shutting the lid and it shut down. Um, if you had one of the devices with an EMMC storage card that was, um, say, a, a, one of the little small tablets or the original Surface Go with the 64 gig drive, it would crash. So they fixed that. They fixed some language issues. They fixed where thumbnails weren't rendering correctly. I haven't seen this issue, but I know some people have, and they finally fixed that. That's been a while for a while. They fixed the handwriting uh, panel not appearing in the certain text fields. They fixed uh, snapping applications. They fixed uh, an issue with Windows Hello that would crash, and they fixed um, an issue with your smart card wouldn't recognize uh, when you're signing in. There are only two issues with this build that Microsoft document anyway. They look at the reports of process hanging for extended period of time when you install the new build. That's been around for ages and they've never seen that. Um, so that's good. So that's something that they're still working on but I haven't seen that. And there's still an issue with the settings privacy documents and downloads icon. And that's been around for a while too. So that's it for this build. There's not a huge amount of changes. And like I said, I think they're just getting this ready to perhaps move to the slow ring and then we can see some new builds coming to the fast ring with new features coming soon. Let's hope so anyway. So thanks for watching this video. You can get me on Twitter at IS Dixon. See you in the next one.